Greetings, 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 greetings. Greetings and great rising. Greetings and great rising. Good afternoon or good evening. Wherever you are in your day, wherever you are on your journey, baby. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And welcome back. For those that are new here, my name is Robin, the Creatrix of Amethyst and Clover. What's up? Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to my warriors. What's up? What's up? What's up? Y'all know how we do. Y'all know how we live in. Yes, 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 and yes. I am coming through today, baby. Spirit called me to the table at 444 to do these elemental readings. And up first is the energy of Earth. So if you are a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, baby, this reading is for you. Ashe, Ashe. We're speaking of the 6 6 energy. Uh, I know the 666 six, six has a, a, a stigma, baby, a stigma. And on the flip side, it is a very bold and powerful, magnetizing, show your pride type of energy. Ashe, Ashe. So, have it is you rock, understand the thing. Don't be so stuck, so grounded um, to just one thought, one aspect of things. You definitely want to, you know, broaden your horizons. Ayi bobo, ashe yo. And the energy that came through for you, earth signs, is abundance. Ashe, ashe. This is a wake up call. This is a wake up call for all the elementals. Ayi bobo, ashe yo. So you know that earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you definitely love to be grounded. You definitely love to be stable. You definitely love um, stability and security. Ashe, uh, money, family, health, wealth, you know, is the focus. And then let's not forget food, fun, and sex. Ashe, Ashe, very beautiful creatures, very complex creatures indeed. Ashe, Ashe. I mean, there is a lot of times where you may find yourself um, faced with a lot of insecurities or a lot of doubts, you know, be mindful of who you're keeping yourself around. Be mindful of the things that you're entertaining. Ground yourself into the truth of it all. And if you're struggling with that, your intuition definitely can help you with that. For some of the earth energies, you know, you may be right there. Everything is right for the picking, but you're just not sure if you should take. Well, baby, this is your harvest. This is what's coming in. Ayi bobo, ashe yo. Some energies may be a little bit further away. You really can't see, but this is where your intuition will definitely kick in to help guide you, ashe. So the wake up call for you is to trust your intuition. Especially when you're working on your goals and your dreams and that abundance that you want to come in. It's closer than what you think. You may not be able to see it now, but baby, it is there. And also, you want to be mindful that you are protected. Let me just move this over a little bit so I can get the energies of everybody. Trust that as things unfold, you're exactly where you need to be. And to not get distracted, you definitely want to keep your focus. Now was the time to not be afraid. Now was the time to not be like, I'm going to just stay right here. Don't just dig your heels, your hooves, whatever it is. Don't just dig them in, baby. You still want to keep moving. Keep moving. Ashe, Ashe. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and get some energies. Let's see. What's popping off in regards to colors, chakras, words, you know, that you may want to be on the lookout for, words that you may have been using, colors that you may have been seeing a lot. Mm-hmm. The first one to flip through was transformation. Ashe, Ashe. Yes. And I'm going to just flip them over, get the overall energies, and then I'll share because I'll be here all day, baby. And y'all ain't got time for that. <laughs> Ashe, Ashe, Ayi Bobo. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nice. Thank you so much. So the overall energy in regards to your wake-up call, trusting your intuition, is understand that as we grow, our intuition grows. As we change, our intuition changes. Spirit doesn't lie. You know, so that again, not being so hell-bent or keeping everything in its proper place and not giving it the breathing room to grow. You know, you like things exactly where they are, but there, there's not much room for growth 
if you're not given the room for things to grow. So you want to understand, especially when it comes to you, that something has changed or something is going to change. You definitely want to make sure that you're accepting that. Ashe, Ashe. And this is, you know, um, a lot of pinks and purples and, you know, just it's all about your, your third eye. You know, the love. Right off rip, it was saying, you know, your your intuition for that abundance to come in. You want to understand that you're going to have to move. Maybe that time was then where you were supposed to stay still, stand still, stand down. You know, but now you're being encouraged that you need to understand. See, the word understanding is coming out in abundance. You know, and this is coming from um, your third eye or your crown chakra you see or you're being encouraged your intuition is speaking to you you know wake up there's there are things that you need to do there are things that must be done ashe ashe you want to tap into um the frequency of it all ashe ashe there's been a lot of growth and a lot of things have changed. And then I'm showing um, the Five of Pentacles is definitely coming through. Another card that has come through also, okay, is the Queen of Pentacles. Ashe, Ayi, Bobo. So this is definitely that earth energy um, that we are speaking of. You know, so there have been some changes in regards to maybe your home life. Uh, oh, the Five of Pentacles and the, the Queen of Pentacles. Let me retract that. Double energy coming through. <laughs> ashe, 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 ayi, bo, bo. Ashe, yo. So, yes, this message is definitely for the earth energies. Ashe, ashe. And, again, there have been some changes. Um, maybe it's been in regards to home, finances. Some people may have had to relocate. Some people may be looking to relocate. Some may not be happy with the moves that they're going to have to make. And again, you can't stay stuck here. You know, you're going to need to take a look at your surroundings. You know, things are not um, as they appear. Um, it's come through that, you know, you're a very nurturing and loving and kind uh, person. You know, very generous. You're comfortable with who you are. You're comfortable. Like, right now, you're comfortable. Like, I just heard, ain't nobody got time for change. <laughs> ain't nobody got time for change. That may be how you feel. Ain't nobody got no time for change. But, baby, change is inevitable, you know. And the, the way that things have changed or the way that things are changing, they may not be of the most high vibration. You know, some of us could be very upset with the change uh, or the fact that things have changed and it feels a lot worse than what it is. Something, this wake up call, baby, something is trying to grab your attention. Something is trying to get you to understand and accept the changes that are being made. This is ultimately to get you out of a rut. I know a lot of times earth energies, they do feel in a rut. They do feel stuck. And that's because sometimes earth signs, you're hell bent on following something or, or seeing something through that it may not be working. It doesn't mean that you need to change the goal. You may just need to, to accept the change that is taking place for you to obtain the goal. Ayi bobo, ashe yo. Yes, you definitely want to take a look in regards to um, nurturing yourself. There have been some harvests that have come in, but something is is changing the directions. You're the type that may be like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But it's not broke. Something has definitely changed, though. Either you've outgrown something. Maybe you've outgrown the house. Maybe you love the house. You done fell in love with this house. Maybe you've outgrown it. Or maybe now that the kids have gone because transformation has taken place, now maybe that the kids are gone, you don't need as much room as you have. Maybe you're being encouraged to downsize and you don't see the beauty or the benefit in downsizing when in our culture right now, the bigger the better, baby, the bigger the better. But again, we're letting go of things that are not serving our purpose. And you are being protected as you are taking a look to understand and accept the changes that are coming. You know, change is 
nerve-wracking and it can be very uneasy um for a lot of us but again just remember that you got being grounded on lock baby hmm give yourself the opportunity uh to explore something in your life is new and new can be scary but again you're you're definitely protected and you're being encouraged to allow spirit to come through Mm -hmm. And then we have DNA and karma. So, and now I see why some of the energy has come through with the Five of Pentacles that, you know, it feels like it's such a loss. You know, there could have been some sacrifices. Maybe, you know, you had to take some of your power and things still did not turn out the way that you were hoping and looking for them to, to pan out. But baby, trust and believe. All energies are on deck. All energies. That is the sun back there or the star, depending on how you want to look at it. The sun is a star, baby. And it has um, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There are eight points. So this is an eight-pointed star. Take a look in to that. That means that all hands are on deck in regards to this change. The north, the south, the east, the west. The as above and the so below. The solar plexus, the um, <laughs> equinoxes, and what else? The all the energies, you know? Um, the changing of the guards. Everything is, is, is working. Everything is working. So don't look at this as a tower moment. This is not a tower moment. Um, but this is something that had to happen. You know, maybe you have been chosen or you have taken it upon yourself to be the one to, you know, break some generational curses. And with those charges, you know, things have to change. So look at it on that line. And look at it in regards to all the new information and new possibilities and all the great ideas that are coming. You definitely want to make sure that you understand that you deserve those things. And you are making changes in your family. Not just for those that are here and not just for those that have come and gone um, or gone on to other realms. I don't know, I like to say come and gone even though they're no longer on this realm. I say, I say. But for those that are to come, this is a time of adding your patch to your family's life quilt. Your family's DNA. I say, I say. So when lightning strikes, <laughs> strike while the iron is hot. But in order to do that, in order for you to get to your harvest, in order for you to accept things, you must first have a good understanding in regards to what's happening. Ashe, Ashe. So let's just take a look and see what's happening. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ashe, Ayi Bobo, Ashe Yo. Yes, 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 and yes. You flew out first. Mm-hmm. You flew out second. Okay. So there was a, a coming together in regards to um, a harvest. And a lot of work could have taken place. A lot of work did take place, you know. Um, and this is coming through with the goddess of pinnacles. So, again, earth energy is definitely coming through. Uh, that, again, you have grown. <laughs> you got the goddess and you got the queen of pinnacles here. Yeah, so, definitely. You need to reaffirm yourself that you are, you have grown in money matters, in house matters, in the matters of love. Um, and then I see this little teeny bunny in the background. So there's, there's, there's definitely a harvest that has come in or a harvest that is coming in. And maybe you're trying to decide what do you do with it? Well, you definitely want to make sure that you're not, I just heard being a snob. I don't even listen. <laughs> don't be a snob about it, baby. Don't be a snob about it. But you definitely want to make sure that you are understanding that this is a very fertile time for you. This is a very fertile time for you. You give your offerings. 
Oh, and then look, butterflies. See, from those changes that are taking place, they're taking place for your greatest and your highest good. Hmm? So yes, this change may be scary and this change may seem like this is the worst. I got You mean to tell me I got to leave my home, but I love it here. You know, but whether you want to leave or not, you can't stay there, baby. There's so much more to explore and you're definitely being encouraged to allow um, spirit to help you along the way. You can't see it now, but it is right there on the other side. And if you decide to keep moving forward, it'll start coming into view. Remember, trusting your intuition, letting spirit guide you. You work very hard you work very very hard um you've taken on a lot of challenges that have made it seem like it was just such a burden but you understood that you chose that you did have some help and it had some success along the way so don't forget that either don't forget that you are nurturing and kind and gentle if something has happened you know they left a bad taste in your mouth because of the changes that had to come understand that they had to happen this was a, a metamorphosis. This was a change for you. Maybe there was a falling out uh, with the group. Y'all were celebrating one minute and something went awry the next. Everybody has their own course. Ashe, Ashe. You know, maybe you're saving up. You're storing up. You could be pregnant. You could have a baby on the way. Ashe, Ashe. But you definitely want to make sure that you are still showing your gratitude. You're still giving your love. You're still giving your respect. You're still giving your thank yous for not just the abundance that is coming or the abundance that is come or, you know, that has come. But you want to just give your gratitude just because for life, for life itself, for life itself. All is welcome in your world, you know? All is welcome. And things may not be going the way that you want them to right now, but it doesn't mean that they won't give you the end result that you're looking for. Go on, honey. Take a chance. If you're looking for abundance, it's coming. Utilize your power. Your power. Utilize your power. You know? It, that's, that's a lot of water coming through, you know? Oya and Shango is coming through. So you're not afraid of hard work. That's not it. That's not it. You, you, don't, you don't mind hard work. But it's definitely something unnerving about this change. <laughs> and then it says, I don't chase what I attract. What is meant for me will be aligned with me. See? You don't have to chase it. And you don't have to, you know, do anything to make it happen. You just have to stay on course and continue going. Continue going. And like I said, you may have been in a position where you were rooted. And you were comfortable. And you, you see that the harvest is coming in. You've had some success. And you feel as though that you just have to just sit here and just wait for the rest to come in. No, 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 no. No, you don't have to chase it. You ain't gotta you ain't gotta run after it. You know, it ain't like it's like ducking and dodging you. But your energy is needed. It cannot get to you without you putting in that work. And since work is not hard for you, and you're not new to this, you're true to this. You definitely want to make sure that, you know, you're you're placing yourself in prime time position. And your position right now is aligning yourself with your spirit, with your higher counsel. Ashe, Ashe, things are blossoming and blooming. A lot of us have had a lot of success this spring. There's been a lot of blooming taking place. There's been some growth, some blossoming, and some blooming. You know, there's a lot of things. You've come out of the cocoon, baby. So again, that time of being still is definitely over. Assess what's going on in your life right now. You want to take a look at the things that you're focused on right now. There could be, you know, distractions. You could be focusing on the negatives as opposed to accepting, understanding that this change had to happen. Accepting that this change has happened or it's going to happen and embracing the transformation because it is ultimately for your greatest and your highest good. Just understand that. Know that. Trust that. Own that. Ashe. Ashe. Mm-hmm.
Yeah, the, it, it was a heavy burden. And it, it is a heavy load. It's a lot of responsibility. And I know with a lot of earth signs, sometimes they just want to fuck off. <laughs> they just want to fuck off. Bear with me. Y'all cars are constantly hitting the ground. So definitely grounding will go a long way. And then I'm talking about the nine of roots, baby. Listen. Again, earth energy. The nine of pentacles here. So yeah, you definitely want to make sure that you're grounding yourself. And look at that. You got the crown. Vic victory coming on through. Victory coming on through. Success. Pay attention to nature. Get out in nature. That's your energy. That's your zone. That's your jam. You know? And I know a lot of earth energies are home bodies. But you're definitely being encouraged to get outside. Or open a window. Get some fresh air. Pay attention to the birds. If they're squawking as soon as you think a thought, you hear squawk. Baby, message. Message. You know? What are you focused on? Because that's what's coming in. That's what's coming in. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. That's what's coming in. Mm, center yourself. Okay, thank you. Look, they ready for y'all today. And they also want you to know you're being divinely guided. That's what I'm talking about. You're being divinely guided. You're being encouraged to rock with spirit. Take some time right now to assess the situation. Maybe you need to change the, the course of direction that you're currently on. Raise your vibration. Know that you're being divinely guided. Hmm. And you revel in your truth. Or you reveal your truth. Reveal it. There's nothing, there's nothing you can do right now. And keeping it a secret, keeping your hardship a secret, especially from you or especially from spirit, especially from your, your, your higher self, your guides, they already know. You know, or if you are close to someone, let them know. They may be able to help. They may be able to help. You do not have to be on this journey alone. This DNA and this karma is also coming through to let you know that you are being divinely guided, supported, protected, loved, cloaked, nurtured. Everything from your ancestors, from your elders, you know, from your cousins. It could be from the young ones. Ashe, it really doesn't matter, but there's definitely some knowledge here. There's definitely some growth here. Maybe there's some, I was talking about the family quilt. Maybe the, the abundance that's coming through for you is meant for you to help bring your family together. Ashe, Ashe. Don't forget, karma is not just for the negative. Karma is not just on the, the, the negative end. Karma is also on the positive end. And I know karma is always laced with, you know, karma is a bitch. No, karma is just karma. Ashe, Ashe, it is what it is. You will reap what you sow. Ashe, Ashe, Ayi, Bo, Bo. Ashe, yo. Yeah, so know that. This is a very fertile time for you. You want to make sure that you already have this grounding thing on lock. Check to see where your emotions are. Check to see how you're feeling about things. How are you feeling about this change? What are your thoughts on this change? Do you have a game plan together? Are you ready for this change? Oh, wait a minute. And we have, um, Copaya. Copay. Co <laughs> Copaiba, I say, I say, on that high end is magnify, amplify, and ease, and on the low end, aggression, inflame, and diminish. Whatever, <laughs> I can't make this up, y'all. Whatever I focus on becomes magnified in my body, mind, and spirit. I let go of the irritation oh i told you there's a there's a lot of energy going on and allow only the highest energy to um expand so yeah this is a very expanse expansive time 666 is amplified energy magnified energy for abundance and your card energy is abundance understand that so they're encouraging you yet again to focus on the good even if you can't see it right now, focus on that. Let that be, you know, motivation and encouragement. This hardship ain't going to be for nothing. You need to know that. When I focus on how, oh, 
whenever whatever I focus on becomes magnified. So whatever it is you focus on, if you're focused on, you know, that you need to make this change and, you know, is is tied with negative energy, that's what you're magnifying, negative energy. But if you understand and accept that you need to change or you need to move or you can't stay here, you know, even if it's on a financial level, you definitely want to understand that there are things that you can do. And we are... A day before, 666 is the day before the first quarter moon. So it's going to be that halfway mark to the abundance. Ashe, Ashe. Yeah, we're going to still be in that cloudy time. Yes, Mercury is done with retrograding, you know, but it's still given that nebulous energy that until it picks back its normal speed, until it picks that back up, there's still going to be, you know, some delays. But it doesn't mean, delays doesn't mean no. Delays doesn't mean it's over, game over. Delays just mean it's going to take a little bit more time. Maybe you need to put in a little bit more energy. Maybe you're not nurturing the, the goal because you're focused elsewhere and it's on a lower vibrating end be mindful that you do have control and be mindful of what it is this is your birth right whatever it is you're working on right now the power of you the power in you that's your birth right don't let anything stop you get it done get her done i say i say and then let's take a look at um your angel messages messages from source Messages from the divine. Ashe. Ashe. Thank you. Oh, you got two. Aye bubble. And then I thought I, I think I saw two at the bottom. Yes, I am diplomatic. You have a great talent for finding solutions. You're intuitive. See, rely on your intuition. Your intuitive and unbiased nature allows you to see all sides. Like I said, goddess of pentacles, queen of pentacles, all is welcome. You're, you're willing to take a look into all sides. Don't be so rigid. You have grown so much. There's so much expansion and so much of abundance that you no longer have to hoard and keep secret. And, you know, because you're going to reveal your truth. Share how much the hard work was. Don't give people the illusion that it just came easy. That does nothing. That does nothing. Huh? The power is in the struggle. And it's the fact that you made it. Aye, bo, bo. Aye, yo. Yes. You have the ability to see all sides of any situation. Invite others towards the most fair and beneficial outcome. I am diplomatic. Yeah, so this is definitely coming with that queen of energy. Someone may be coming to you to ask you, how did you do that? Do not hoard it. Your knowledge by sharing it, that's the wisdom. That's the wisdom. That's the strength. And that's the wisdom. I know serpentine energy has a very negative stigma, but baby, I'm, oh, and what I say, wisdom, and here we're looking at wise, right here, 15, which is another six, so take a look into 666, because that's the energy that we're rocking with right now, and then 6666, four sixes, you know what I'm saying, that's how much of things are in abundance for you, so if you're seeing six pop off, if you're seeing fives pop off, if you're seeing twos pop off, you're being encouraged from your team to share your knowledge, Share your knowledge, but again, be mindful in regards to who you're sharing with because lessons learned. Like I said, something probably went awry with this, this, this union here and you're feeling like they're still moving on with the lucrative opportunities and positions and getting that harvest to come on in and you're here facing a clusterfuck of decisions in regards to how you're even going to survive. Baby, illusions are all over the place. Don't forget, we're still in that shadowy time. Aye, bo, bo. We're in that on the 6th, which is on... Monday, I'm doing these videos on Saturday. I say come through the Marasatwa, Ayi Bobo. Let Dambala and Ayida come on through with that serpentine energy. I say, I say, yeah, there could be some proverbial snakes in the grass. How to the ever? Are you going to focus on the snakes in the grass or are you going to focus on the healing aspect of the snake, of the shedding of the skin of the snake, the growth of the snake, the healing energies of the snake, of the serpentine energy? The knowledge, the wisdom, come through, Sim B. Are you? What is your focus? Ashe, Ashe. <laughs> and the other card that flew out for you, six six. I am positive. Your message, Earth signs, and I know sometimes it can be very challenging, but you want to keep your energies and your vibrations up, 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 up. 
if you're in a rut, you're being encouraged to come up with a plan and actually implement that plan. And I know y'all like to take y'all time. Take your time. And that's fine. Because time is on the table. Take your time. But understand you're going to have to bust a move. Bust a motherfucking move. Come through Bernie Mac. You're going to have to bust a move, yo. <sighs> Your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. You are encouraged to have faith that the universe will provide for you while you are manifesting your inner desires. I am positive. See? The universe is encouraging you. It's doing its part. They're doing their part. You must do yours. It says manifesting. Six is a manifesting year. And we, we're talking about 666. So you're, whatever it is that you're manifesting on, that is your focus. Trust your intuition. Trust your gut. Trust it. Trust in the knowledge and the stories and the teachings that, you know, your elders, your family, your bloodline gave to you. You will be able to celebrate. And when that harvest come in, don't forget who helped you along the way. Give that offering. Huh? Give that offering. Hmm. And you ain't got to chase it. You just got to move towards it. It's not dodging you. Trust me. You may be blocking yourself by hoarding information, by coveting everything. Well, I got mine. They got theirs to get. But you had help along the way. Don't forget that. I say, I say, be diplomatic. If you're seeing twos, and if you're seeing six, 66, 666, or 6666, baby, come on through. Hmm? And six is the energy of Shango. So, be a warrior. Have fun. And that's another thing, Earth Signs. Oh, thank you, Shango. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Have fun. Earth energy sometimes can be so serious. You're so focused on the goal. And you're just trying to force it through. You ain't got to force it. Get outside. Let it breathe. Get some air. Get some fresh energy. Get some new perspectives. New thoughts and new energies are trying to come through. Oya and Shango, they definitely on the scene for you, Earth Energies. Definitely on the scenes for those that rock, for those that don't rock. Take a look into it. That's what I mean by expanding. You know? Expanding. And, and, and let's be clear. Health check, earth energies. Health check. Never be too busy to take care of yourself. Never be too busy to, to nurture yourself. You nurture everybody else. You got words of wisdom and you got power and you got time for everybody else. Where's the energy for you? Pour into you during this time. Ashe, Ashe, Aye Bobo, Ashe Yo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below. Let's commune. I love it. But you're going to have to get up, get out, and get something. Peace.